well, well. Summertime, it's Chicago, cicadas, I'm outside. Gee, oh look, a box, everyone. <laughs> yes, got some more Maui 5 goes. I've had uh, them for a while and I got two more and uh, yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing of Maui 5. And really quickly, if you're watching this on YouTube, obviously, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, get the thumbs up, subscribe, bell icon, bell icon, subscribe, thumb, whatever way you wanna do it, do it. Plus, you like gear like this, we talk about this stuff all the time on the DJ Roundtable Show. So make sure you look for it. Look right here on the page and the channel. Come on in. So I'm going to unbox this pupper. Got it from our friends at Sweetwater. <coughs> oh man. Got my handy dandy knife here. And I got two of them. We're just unboxing one. And I, again, I have the same ones in black and been using them for 2020 on. Yes, I got them when no one had anything. Trust me, that was a hard thing to get. And at the time, Sweetwater did not carry LD systems. So, had to order from a couple other companies. Oh, bonus box in a box. So, you have the shipping box, and then you have the retail box. So, knife. Nothing like fresh tape to cut. And again, I do not do this normally, I do stuff in the office, but it's just too darn big to fit these in the office. Don't have that much room in there. So, a little bit of a spoiler alert. Again, I have a set of these, so I know some of the stuff they have. First thing first, owner's manual. Make sure you read this. It's a lot of important information on there. Again, you can see Maui 5 Go. These are the 100 series. So this has a little bit smaller battery than the regular Go. This is the same one I have. I said I had the black. Now I have the white. Standard setup, very easy, simple. As you can see, it has an IEC cord. Not a long one, but a good one. And then, Styrofoam City. I'm gonna put that there, put that down there. Uh, you can see the base unit right here, and then we have the three sections. One section is gonna be battery, one section is gonna be drivers, and one section is gonna be a filler, an extender. So you can use the extender or not, I usually do, so that way it's nice and tall. And put that right there. Got the little packets, of course, for grabbing moisture. All right. So this is an extender. This is an extension piece. battery and the reason I know that because it has a battery check right there which should have a little bit of battery right there this will charge at the same time you run it and the one bad thing I will say about LD LD please include the bag it's an extra what, $150 for the bag and the subwoofer cover it's just for a thousand dollars for a speaker at retail. It's just you know something. And let me help my my lovely assistant, my beautiful wife Tracy. So, <laughs> and you can see there it is, the Maui Five Go right there. This right here is going to go to recycling. This right here will go to the rest of my pile of IEC cords. 
we have two bins of IEC cords, if I remember correctly. Uh, we have more. No, IEC. just one really big one. Oh, one really big one. But we have a bunch of other little bins with other IEC cords, so. <laughs> you gotta love it. But, you know, fully assembled. You can see it's taller than me. Uh, what, six and a half feet tall, I think? Yeah. Plus it's on a, a little bit of a rise there, too, so. It is a few inches taller than me, but I'll set this up. Uh, we're going to be using this and its uh, twin brother this coming Sunday for an outdoor wedding and using its uh, two other brothers uh, at that wedding. So I'll have the black and the white ones. And if you want to, I have here a gig log just did at uh, Wild Onion uh, Brewery and Event Center and had used the Black Maui Fives there for the wedding. And it was 80 people. So I've done plenty of weddings with the Maui Five. I know a lot of guys say there's not a lot of power to it. It's the right tool for the right size. Would I do a massive 200 person wedding with these? No, no. It's, they're not big enough. 120 SPL is your, out, is your output. Um, it's pretty loud. The eight inch woofer is pretty good. It's not gonna go down to ultra deep bass like an 18 inch or a 15 or a 12. It has night tight punchy bass. Again, I've been dealing with it now for four years and as a rec this recording four years. And I could tell you that the Maui Fives for a nice, easy, compact array and the clarity of sound, we get compliments. Now I do have also RCF J8s, which my bigger horsepower, and I just got some new speakers. There'll be an unboxing for to make sure you stay tuned for that. Those right there, are more horsepower they're bigger bigger woofer and so forth this little eight inch i will tell you uh this past uh saturday tracy was saying why does it sound so bassy and i'm like it, that's just the normal thing <laughs> so just make sure you adjust as needed for the room eq the room as as always and also just make sure that uh you know you have fun with it but do not be afraid with the smaller column arrays to do a gig with it. And again, I wouldn't do a huge gig. I kind of cap it to about 130 people for this. Uh, above 130, they're gonna go to J8s. This is our basic sound system. You know, our standard sound system, nice basic, good quality audio. I got a white set because the fact that a few venues, white blends a little bit more than the black. And again, I need another set of speakers. And I'm like, you know what? I'm getting our set of Molly Fives because they have such great sound and they'd be a great speaker and i have j8s and black black and white i have uh another speakers coming they're gonna be all black and they're expensive uh but the thing is that it's one of the things having multiple tools in your toolbox is always good because if you guys hear me at a dj round table show which again it's on here i always say a thing and this the saying i always say is that if the only tool in your toolbox is a hammer everything looks like a nail and you don't want to sit there and pound bolts. You don't want to pound screws. You don't want to pound other stuff. You use a hammer for what you need a hammer for, nails. If everything looks like a nail, then nothing's a nail. But having the right tool for stuff is the important thing. So with that said, again, I'm gonna pull this box out. <laughs> oh, boxes, boxes, I'm popping boxes on top of boxes. It is the LD Systems Maui 5 Go 100. You know, battery powered con uh, column array system, column PA system, small array, you can bunch of them names, line array, all different companies say different things. I call it a line array, uh, that's why we see. But make sure, hey, you know what, if you're looking for a good speaker, I definitely recommend the Maui 5. They are great. They have great sound and look for I've used them for a few years and just fantastic. So other than that, make sure you check out the rest of the channel. And again, there's more unboxings coming up here. And thank you for tuning in. All right, I'm gonna go over a little bit with this. Very, very basic mixer. You have here for Bluetooth or MP3 player, which you have a, um, your input right there, one eighth jack. 
you have for your quarter inch jack right here. You have for your main line, which is here, and you give left mono, which you have a mono input. So your left side left mono, that's the one we usually go into. Uh, you do have a bypass, which you need to be in the right side for the bypass to work. Uh, you have your mic input here, which you have a separate XLR for mic. You have your main volume. Your high boost, you also have here your um, your sub boost. And right now I have it halfway down because uh, for Sunday. You have a system, what kind of system you have. You know, your stereo, mono. You know, if you're doing stereo, it's two uh, left to right. If it's mono, just one. It tells you on, off, so forth, so on, protect, limiter, signal. And when it flashes protect, uh, it will go in standby mode, which is always fun. Uh, when you have it sitting there for a little bit idle to protect itself, which is actually a great thing. Uh, yeah, this is a standard IEC power uh, plug right there. So you can see that right there. On, off, IEC, XLR. And yeah, the back battery, that's the extra part. And then you have the top. Oh, and my assistant is showing off the bag. Uh, the bag has for an extra battery spot. So you can put an extra battery in there. And then, of course, the LD system bag logo on it. There's also a logo on for the sub. Yep, right there, the logo for the sub. So, yeah. I get my wife to do more of these with me. Well, you guys, tell me down in the comment section, do you want to see Tracy in some of these videos, unboxing videos? And you want to see her in the round table again? Thank you.